Hey, what's up below? Hi, it's Sammy, and I'm back with another video. This video is gonna be a continuation of our MCM tour, but today we're gonna talk about labs. If you're gonna go here in MCM, you gotta know the details of the labs. They're very important. So we're gonna have an in-depth explanation for what these laboratories are for, what the equipment is, etc. We're gonna have our professors on the vlog and explain everything about the labs. Labs don't usually excite me, but in MCM, I'm pretty psyched about it because their equipment is... <laughs> I gotta know everything about the labs here. Everything looks so interesting. I'm legit excited. Okay, all right, let's go to the lab tour. First off, we have our first professor. This is... Please introduce yourselves there. Hi everyone, so I am Engineer Marta Calamba. I am the program chair of the BS Electronics Engineering Program. So sir here will have us tour around this laboratory and I'm so excited about it because a lot of things here look very exciting. Okay, so first here we have our telecommunication trainer and we use these for our communications. How do the AM station work, the AM radio, the FM radio, even our cellular phone communication. So this type of trainer will simulate those things. These students will learn the fundamentals of communications. So they will be able to simulate how the generation, how the signals are generated and how the signals are received. All right, for our next equipment, I'm very curious for this Okay, so we have here a microprocessor board and also a microcontroller board. So, do you imagine how do we use our computers, how computer works? No, sir. And actually, it is powered by a microprocessor. Ooh. Okay. So, as you can see, so uh, this trainer will help our students understand uh, the memory, the input output, peripherals of our computers, and soon they can create their own. Alright? Mm -hmm. So, this is basically used for our computer engineering. We also have the electrical engineering. We also have the electronics engineering. And here, we have also a microcontroller. So if you want to make small gadgets, so it can be powered by this microcontroller board. Okay, so we have lots of microcontrollers here. So this one is actually a PIC. We also have Arduino. We also have Raspberry Pi as well as the legal bone. So this is just a... Uh, fun activities now so that our students can make you now when they are doing especially for their capstone and sometimes they can utilize this when they want to do robotics. Ooh, cool. Robotics here at MCM. I heard it was very exciting. What about the equipments back here? What are they about? Okay, so actually Sam, so these are used for our basic electronics as well as um, systems courses. We also have power electronics and digital electronics. So basically most of the engineering programs are using this one. So we have the electronics engineering, we have the computer engineering, electrical engineering, even the industrial, they are also using this one, and the mechanical engineering programs. And I forgot, it's the chemical engineering. They also have basic electronics and electrical. So this is a good uh, trainers for them to understand the fundamentals of the electronics. So here we are at the electrical laboratory and here we have our next professor. Please introduce yourself, sir. Hi, I'm Dr. Alfredo J. Morris Jr., the program chair for the electrical engineering team. So sir here will have us tour on a, a very interesting equipment. Okay, so this is what we call a level electromechanical training system. Wherein students will know how to connect basically electrical circuitry as well as uh, to measure voltage, uh, current, uh, power. But this equipment also will, uh, will give students an idea on how the operation of electric motors here, is the electric motors, as well as the study of the generator. Whatever data that is being generated in this particular equipment will be uh, reflected also in uh, their respective computers. So this is what we call uh, the data acquisition. This is the motor uh, module and this is uh, the data acquisition interface. For this module, it can be connected to our computer and the student can see uh, the reading of each parameter that is being measured. So this is uh, the power supply in which the student will uh, know basic about uh, the DC supply and uh, the alternating current supply. This is what we call the load modules. This is the resistive load modules and 
students will know the connection, the easy connection. Let's say, for example, the series, series parallel and uh, the parallel combination. All right, so now that we're at the first floor, I don't know if you guys remember from the first vlog, I was here going up around from the outside because I couldn't go in, but now I can. And look what we have here. Here we have the new equipment for civil engineer students. And welcome to my unboxing. Can you all hear unboxing? But yes, I'm so excited for the civil engineer students. They have some awesome equipment for them. Um, so if you want to go to MCM, stay tuned for that. This is going to be awesome. So here we are at the machine room and I have both professors to explain the equipment we have in this lab. Okay, this is what we call the link machine. This is what we use for mechanical engineering project in terms of uh, rotary machines. So students can actually uh, Make an inner and outer surfaces for uh, for a certain shape. Then they can process uh, different types of shapes. And also, this machine will uh, uh, use also for tools uh, and uh, the 3D processes. Mechanical engineering students will learn how to specify a uh, project and implement in terms of different shapes of uh, particular, uh, particular objects. Okay, Sam, so we have here now another machine. So we call this one as the mini machine. The mini machine normally is used for cutting, so it's under there for cutting. This one of the cutting tools that we use. So what we do is we place here our object. Okay, then what this um, tool do will we'll just cut some pieces that we don't want. So basically, this is used by the mechanical engineering as well as the industrial engineering. Now I have Sir Alfred to describe what this machine, what this machine does. This is what we call the material testing machine that is used by our mechanical engineering as well as industrial engineering. Part of it also is uh, used by uh, the civil engineering. This uh, machine would, uh, would test uh, the tensile strength for uh, metals the bending, uh, the bending test for metals. This machine uh, focuses on the destructive testing of the metals, uh, different kinds of metals. Alright, that ends our work for today.